I call the honourable member for Indi. Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Communications. Minister, problems with broadband remain one of the most prevalent issues raised by constituents in Indi. Can you tell the House what the situation is with NBN in Indi and what is the plan to finish the job? And a detailed answer by local government areas in Indi, including timelines and a comment about the situation in Indi more broadly, would help me answer constituents' queries. I call the Honourable the Minister for Communications. Yes, th thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member for her question. And the, uh, the detailed line-by-line -line information I'll uh, give the Honourable Member separately. But can I just say that uh, in the last uh, few days, four sites, wild, fixed wireless sites in the north of Indi have been activated, and uh, they are at Edburn, Kiwa, Kiwa South and Barrarunda. There are now 2,090 premises passed by the fixed wireless service in her electorate, with another 1,100 premises connected to the interim satellite service. While the fixed wireless rollout is progressing apace. There, are work, there is work underway on towers covering more than 6,000 premises in her electorate. And of course, uh, this work is going on in, in almost all honourable members' electorates around the country. Um, can I just note too, Madam Speaker, that the NBN has released its 18-month rollout plan, and that includes uh, another 4,000 premises in the fixed wireless footprint in Alexandra, Chilton, Mansfield, Myrtleford and around Wangaratta and Wodonga. And in the fixed line rollout, work will begin by June next year in Wangaratta and Waldara, covering 8,000 premises. Now, what honourable members will appreciate is that the NBN Co is very much now under new management, and it is adopting a customer-focused approach focused on ensuring that the customer gets the broadband speeds they need and will value and will pay for regardless of technology. So we're using a mixture of technologies. And I want to acknowledge, Madam Speaker, the very different, big difference between our approach and the Labor Party's. Labor thought, Labor thought that they knew everything. They thought they were the depository, indeed the repository, indeed, indeed, as the Prime Minister observes, the suppository of all wisdom on broadband. But they were not. And you know, the, the coalition, we believe in getting global experience, and we looked around the world at what other telcos were doing. And I want to acknowledge today the great help that we've had from Swisscom, the leading Swiss telecommunications company. Their senior project director, Klaus Lichty, is here in the gallery. Klaus has been of enormous assistance to us, and I want to thank his CEO, Urs Schappi, for allowing us to benefit from the experience of Swisscom. Like the NBN Co, they started off with an all-fibre model, realised it was too slow and too expensive, and are now using a mixed technology model, as indeed is Deutsche Telekom and any well-resourced, uh, uh, financially-minded uh, telco around the world. What the NBN Co is doing today is best global practice, and we have our Swiss engineering friends to vouch for that as well, and I want to thank them.